Please welcome Josh and Michael. There are only two sporting events in the world that have more of a global reach during their event. That would be the Olympic Games and the FIFA World Cup. Everything starts with Twitter. Um, kind of gave that away. But uh, everything that we post tends to start there. And then depending on what the content is, it branches out into the other social media platforms. What are the conversations that we can start to the audience that's not here? And that led us to think about more traditional methods if we can communicate in tag athletes in our social media posts, if we can create polls for people at home to want to interact and participate in, if we can create really compelling images for people at home to be, oh, I wish I could have been there to have seen that. Uh, we felt like that really turned our interactions in a new direction. That we're going to actually break up into some peer airport tables, so we're going to actually solve problems. So scenario number five is what we selected. Discuss ways to use digital media. Facebook's more a, a different platform animal than, than Twitter. Kind of get some information and then give them the credit for the photo, and that's been working out really well okay. for us. I'm going to say leverage traditional media. Golfers. Golfers. Yeah, they're golfers. There you go. How often do you have to post something to Twitter? But if you're having a form fill, you can set up conversion or goal tracking. Hey, guess what? You have you know three flights on American Airlines every day. You might want to have that be one of your... That's kind of as far as we got. Their second post reached 1,000 viewers, and I think it was pretty impressive now that they've just created their account. Understand, you know, who they are, not, not who they are, that would be illegal, but who, who their psychograph is. There's a couple folks there in Atlanta uh, that are in the key areas. They are actually from Montgomery. Please join me in welcoming Michael. Traditional communications channels fail during emergencies. It doesn't matter if it's a natural disaster like a hurricane or an incident that happens. Communication is really the top thing that people focus on as either what went very well or what could have been better. And then we use those same employees to help spread the message to their peers which really increased buy-in throughout the process. We do make every effort to uh, uh, set someone straight if the information they're putting out there is inaccurate but we'd never delete it. 